this has unfolded over just the last maybe 30 minutes or so, so we do want to bring you up to speed on exactly what is happening in this case, primarily because uh, they have now identified the suspect, and we have the latest info to share with you on this. So let me just tell you that in this particular case, uh, they have identified the man, 59 years old, as their suspect in this notorious serial killer case as Rex Huerman, a, an architect at a firm in New York. We do have some of the live pictures where we've been watching crime scene investigators. The man who lives at this home was arrested last night. Now, he's a married man. He is 59 years old. And uh, this case stretches back to 2010 and 2011. Neighbors around the property that's been swarmed by police have been speaking to uh, reporters. One called the guy, quote, the neighborhood creep, but another telling Fox News, quote, it's very shocking and scary for this to happen so close to home. The Suffolk County Executive Steve Ballone says law enforcement never gave up working on this case. There were people who talked about this case never getting to this point, never getting to this resolution that we see today, this development that we should see today. But it was the nonstop, dogged determination of the men and women of the Suffolk County Police Department, our investigators, and our partners in law enforcement, including the Nassau County Police Department. I want to thank Commissioner Ryder. All of that work never stopped. By the way, we are efforting a photo of the suspect, this 59-year-old man who has worked at this architectural firm, apparently in the Manhattan area for a number of years. So this search goes back more than a decade where several uh, women working in as sex workers began to disappear and four bodies were found uh, in burlap bags out along Gilgo Beach out in Long Island. That beach where the first bodies were found is just miles away from the suspect's home.